Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this with basically three materials. And yeah. Right. I'm gonna let you guys get the hook in and get that ready. But the but the fly has three basic materials. It's got a it's got a flash component and it it should be orange anything from orange to red to gold or brass color works with this combination of colors i've got some stuff here it's called uh water silk that's made by fly tires dungeon and it's really nice stuff uh very similar to uh crystal flash but it's got a little more body to it as you can see and what the main components of this are is called Congo hair. And we got the orange and we got black. And this is just a synthetic. It's very similar to the EP fibers, uh, particularly the EP 3D, three dimensional fibers. And if you look at it, see how, how fluffed out this is. It, there's a lot of crimp to it. it. It puts a lot of body to a fly without a lot of actual substance to it and that's what i use and you can get this stuff from a place called fly tires dungeon it's in montana you can google it and find it but there's this congo hair comes in probably 30 colors and combinate probably 45 colors and combinations so you can find it in anything you want and i'll show you some of that when we get one of these tied because I wanted to talk about materials a little bit when we're done. Okay, if you can get started, and I usually start back about a quarter of an inch from the eye myself. You can do it however you normally tie, but going back here is where I prefer to start with these. And like I was saying, I use, extra small eyes they're pearl and you build up a little bit of a thread dam to hold that eye so that it doesn't slip forward and just figure eight tie it on there and what i normally do is i put that on a little bit of an angle to the to the hook give it about six wraps and then turn it 90 degrees and give it six in the other direction and then i do a figure eight two figure eights over it and then i go between the hook shank and the eye and pull it tight as you can see the hook moving it's pulled tight seven or eight turns around that and that firms that set of eyes up really well and if you feel more comfortable you can put a spot of uh uv and resin on there and harden it up or you can just put a little bit of super glue or whatever and then i wrap back just loosely until we're right about at the hook the point of the hook like that it doesn't show good against my blue shirt i should have thought that one through <laughs> there it's better that way you can see it okay and then once i'm there then i i wrap back very loosely to back in front of the eyes and stop right in front of the eyes once you get to that point I usually put some flash in right in the middle and that ends up being almost like a uh, lateral line on the fly. The fiber. Yes, I put the, the flash is the first thing I tie in there. Right, you could do it either way, but this way it's easier for me. But what I do then is I, I cut us uh, some flash and there's about eight or ten strands something like this and i put that in 
over the top of the eyes and so that it's about extends beyond the, the bend of the hook about a hook shank length hold that behind the eyes and then loosely wrap over over it in front of the eyes with with two wraps so it's coming down the center of the shank yep that's where it'll be but the key is wrap in front of the eyes and then go behind the eyes two wraps that's what you should have in that first wrap right there okay then take the remainder that's over the front pull it back over the eyes give that two solid wraps like that and then wrap back in front of the eyes then clip that off even with the first set so you should be with these your flash should the end of the flash should be just about the same as one hook length longer than the than the hook. Okay. One hook length. Yeah, three quarters of a hook length to a hook length, whatever looks good to you for proportion. But it should look it should look like this. If that helps get the the, the idea. Okay, the next thing you do is you've already got them cut there, but you want to take a piece of the orange and you want to get it out if this shows, but it's about that big. Okay, when it's pulled tight, but you can see what it is when it's relaxed. Okay, and that's probably about 30 strands, I would guess. And with this stuff, you just clip it off. It's just the right height or right length. And just straighten the fibers out a little bit. And we're gonna put this on top of the eyes, on top of the hook, just like we did the flash. We're gonna put it there so that it's, it, the, the orange is just about the same length as the flash. We're gonna do the same thing with that. We're gonna put two wraps in front of the eyes to hold it down, pull it tight there behind the eyes and two wraps behind the eyes, okay? Still fairly a simple type tie. Is that, is that, the, same, is that the same length as the flash we just put in there? Yes, it could be the same length or just slightly more, well, however you want to do it. Then we take this, the, the protruding piece in the front over the eyes. You're, you're, you're tying it down on both sides of the eye. Yep. Yep. And then you pull it back over the eye and you put two turns around there and then go back in front of the eyes and tighten it off in front of the eyes. Now this is a this is kind of a crucial piece here. You've got this piece that's the top part. You want to clip this off. What I do is I bring this on like a 45 pull it tight like you can see it pull it tight. Bring it on a 45 and right up even with the end of the hook bend, clip it like that. So it's going to be shorter than the first. Yep. And what it does, if you can look at it, if you see it, yep. it gives some three dimensional look to that vertical dimension to that fly. Yeah. Yes. Okay, then once you get this stage in, you turn the fly upside down. You, you take us. So we're done with the, we're done with the, the orange. Part. Yep, that's all you need for the orange. Okay, and if you look at that, it should be pretty sparse. Okay, now you want to take with the black the same thing. You want to have just a small piece probably the same thing about 30 fibers, okay? Stuff is, grabs you. Okay, and then with that, I usually take the squared end like this and I split that, okay? Just like that, you can see it. Where does it look best? Over yeah. here? Yeah, see how it's split? 
and it's roughly split the length of what your orange is. And I put that right on top of the, the hook, okay? And if you can see it, that, that the black is about the same length as the orange. Hold that down behind the eyes, do a couple of loose wraps, make sure the black stays on top of the hook there. Give it a couple of tight wraps. <laughs> then you do the same thing with the black. You pull it back and you clip it off just beyond the bend of the hook, right there. Okay, this goes back, you kind of split it visually and then just wrap forward a nice little head and then whip finish it however you like to whip finish, just right there. And again, so you're tying that black again forward in front of the eyes again. Yep. And then you're bringing it back. Yep. And the and the black is never tied behind the eyes. Okay, it's, it's only tied in front. All of the, the ties for the black are in front of the eyes. So all of them? Well, you tie it twice. Okay. So the okay. I tied the first one in the back. I should take that off. Yeah, the black should not be tied in the back. If you look at the fly, you can see. There's no, uh, there's nothing behind that other than the black that blends the other black. Okay. Now, when you look at that, if you look at the, look at the, I wish we had a, does this work? What's it look like against the black again? That's not bad. Against your shirt, it's not that bad. Yeah. Okay. I could get the Sanibel fly fishers out of the way, right? Okay, but if you look at that, you can see how transparent that fly is. It's not bulky. And look at the vertical height of that fly compared to a clouser or any of the other ones that you tie. The lower, the, 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 layers that you put in parallel to the hook and tie down hold those other ones up and keep it keep that silhouette to that fly yep but just right behind right even with the hook hook uh the curve of the hook yeah My scissors go. Oh, I bet. Yes. Okay. Now, what I usually do when I'm looking at this fly like this, I can see that this tail looks square, and I don't like that just visually from my standpoint. So I usually take my scissors and run them at the same angle as, as this extended piece. And just tend it up and just clip that orange off so that that's a little bit nicer taper on the end of that fly. And that's it right there. Put some head cement on it. No, you can't be too sparse. You can't, when this is in the water, it absorbs, it, it sucks up water. And that's the nice part of this fiber. But you should be able to hold that up and look through it. And it almost looks.